Hello everyone, in this video I am going to give you high level overview on what is exactly binary file format when we are migrating data from cloud to cloud or on premises to cloud, particularly file formats. So you can find two kinds of architectures for data migration or ETL projects. So one is ETL, so extract, transform, load. So extract, transform, load, so extracting data from different sources, then doing transformation and staging finally loading data into target in this scenario when it comes to etl first you need to read the data then you need to understand the data that is called data interpretation means you need to understand the data is it a column integer date or string you need to read the data properly then you can apply transformations then you can load data into target these kind of architectures you can find most of the on premises data warehouse projects so when it comes to ELT project, when it comes to ELT project, what we will do, we will extract data, then we will load data into data lake. So that is only extract and load, extract and load. There is no transformations concept. On-premises data, we will extract and we will load data into data lake. In this scenario, we will trade us is just a data migration from one system to another system. Maybe your source may be cloud, your source may be any on-premises. We will extract and load. We won't do any transformations because the data is going to transfer over the network, maybe on premises systems, private network systems or on premises systems to cloud data lake or maybe blob storage or data lake Gento. When we are migrating, what we will do? We will extract and load. Once data is available in data lake, then we will use the data bricks, then we will use the transformations. Nothing but data validations, aggregations, other things we will convert into delta table. So when we look at this architecture, when we focus ELT architecture, most of the data warehouse projects in cloud, lake house projects are big data projects. So there are different kinds of requirements, advanced analytics, traditional BI, data warehousing requirements. The common storage in cloud is data lake. So if you have a data on on-premises, if you want to migrate the data into cloud, how we will migrate that? How we will migrate that using data factory and what kind of data sets, what kind of data set or what type of data set which we are going to use further, mainly file systems, mainly file system. Maybe images, videos, audio files, text files, structured, semi-structured, unstructured data. If you have any kind of files, what we will do, we will extract and load data into data lake. For that scenario, ADF is providing one option. If you go to data sets, whenever you are creating a data set for file, maybe data lake, Gento. So if you observe clearly, binary file format is available and structured format CSV, semi-structured like JSON, VARC, XML, Excel, Avro, these kind of file formats are available. But you don't see any other formats like a images, videos, audio files, text files. You cannot find a data set for those kind of files. Okay, and you can find binary format. So what is exactly binary format and when we will use an advantage of this. When we are migrating data, basically files, if you are extracting files from on-premises, then you can use binary format. The data set type you can use binary format. So when you are creating a data set for get metadata, a data set for filter, data set for migrating copy activity, migrating data using copy activity. So we can refer or we can use this binary file type. So it may be data like Gento, it may be any other. So you can see binary data set advantage of this binary data set. So when we are migrating data on premises to data lake, extract and load, we're not doing any transformation. Mean you no need to open a file, you no need to read data, you no need to understand the data. Because we're not opening a file, we're not reading data, we're not applying any transformation, just as it is the file we are copying into cloud. So in this scenario, you can refer, you can prefer binary data set. So, ingestion is one of the important step 
it may be on premises it may be any cloud if you have a data files that may be any type any size any type any size so when we are copying from external system to azure data lake we can prefer binary data set using a copy activity the data set type which we can use instead of using a csv or other semi-structured file formats we can prefer binary data set we can prefer binary data set it may be data lake project data warehouse project or lake house project ingestion is a common step so external system data mainly files structured semi-structured and structured files as it is you are loading data into data lake we can prefer this maybe azure integration runtime from uh, from blob storage to data lake gen 1 to gen 2 when we are copying right even that scenario also we can prefer our self-hosted integration runtime external system data mainly file systems so if you are copying that we can use source and sync data set type binary data set so it will avoid uh, it may be data like gen 1 to gen 2 or blob storage to gen 2 or on premises to blob storage as data like gen 2 any of these scenarios gen 1 to gen 2 you can use binary data set any type file any size of file blob storage to gen 2 or on premises to gen 2 we can prefer binary data set what will happen when we are migrating data from one system to another system over the network we are transferring the data so over the network network uh, serialization deserialization so we need to perform serialization deserialization if you are doing any encoding decoding but by default the data set type itself we are giving a binary data set it will avoid all this because when you are reading data means first you need to read the data if it is a compression file you need to read the data then you need to apply transformations but we're not applying any transformations as it is we are migrating so we are migrating source to destination over the network that may be gen 1 to gen 2 blob storage to gen 2 on premises to gen 2 when we are migrating here to here always prefer binary copy when we are using a binary data data set type right instead of native format if source is binary sync should be binary remember if source is binary sync should be binary compared to normal csv or parquet or rc files binary data set binary type data set will give you better performance because we are avoiding that uh, over the network we are not reading the data just it is copying uh, files we're not opening a file we're not reading the data when we will read the data if you are doing a transformations when it comes to extract and load on premises to data lake you don't need to apply any transformations in this scenario so you don't need to use native files like csv orc so just use a binary data set it will give you better performance so in this scenario we can prefer binary data set binary file mainly file if source is file use binary type if target is file use binary both should be binary both should be binary file type so this is about binary file type data set thank you see you in another video